In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use parameters in Fusion 360 to be able to um, link the number of holes that you've got in, in this little disk that I've got um, with the number of components that I bring in as well from, say, for instance, a McMaster Carp um, catalog or from something you've created as well. So the first thing I'm going to do over here is insert a McMaster Carp component, okay? And bring up over here, um, if you've never done this before, you'll see I've got all my different components over here. Some have 3D models, some do not have 3D models. So if you can't find one, um, just note that it might not have been created already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my screws and bolts. And just using the filtering on the left-hand side over here, get to the size of bolt that I want. So let's make it a M20. Alloy steel socket head screw, fully threaded. And if we go just down here for a little bit, just scroll down, we'll see we've got all our components over here. So let's make it an M20 by 2.5 millimeter bolt. And if you look at the bottom over here, you'll see I've got a 3D step. Or a couple of different other components you can bring in as well, 2D drawings as well. So 3D step, okay, and then click on download. What that does, it'll download it into my components over here, or sorry, my my window and now what I can do is I can go and create a joint between the the bolt over here the socket and as well as the hole so we're gonna go put it over there and it brings it in okay so there we go I'm happy if it had come in upside down you can just click on the flip button it flips around over there and what you'll see over there is actually got a the motion is rigid and I actually want it to be revolute. So I want it to screw, well, I want it to revolve around the cylindrical axis over there. Once I'm happy with that, I can click on OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go create a circular pattern. So to create a pattern, you can either click on pattern at the top over here in the ribbon, or you can go down to pattern and go straight to the circular pattern over there. It has got the same dialog box that opens up over here. Now, what I also want to do is because I want the 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 socket head screw to be you know different components I'm gonna select components over here so do note that even though it's a component that also consists of a body okay and if I had to select the object type body it would have made however many bodies I've got over here instead of creating duplicates or copies of this component at the top over here so I'm going to select my component select my axis okay and then under quantity, I'm actually going to type in QTY. Uh, I should just make it QTY, or well, make all capital letters. QTY equals 5. Okay. Now, I've just made a little bit of an error over here. Before I do that, I actually want to make sure that. Um, actually, no, I'm, I'm going to continue with what I've got. So, I've got my Q quantity 5, okay, but I don't have holes for that quantity over there. So I want the holes to always match the number of socket heads that I've got over here, socket head screws. So what I'm going to do at the butts go to rectangular pattern, okay, and I'm going to say features. So now what I do is I select the feature, select my axis, and this time I'm just going to type in here quantity. And as I start typing in, it will bring up all the parameter names that I've got over here. So quantity C pattern one dot count you. Okay, there we go. So now what happens is I've got five holes for the five bolts. Now what happens if I want six or seven or ten bolts and it must have the corresponding holes as well. So what we do here now is we'll go to our modify. And at the bottom of we've got our change parameters. And over here, you'll see that I've got quantity, okay, QTY, and expression 5. So let's go make a 10, and let's see what happens with our model. So there's 10. How many holes? 10 as well. Okay, let's go down to 3. So modify, change parameters, type in 3. Okay, and there we go. So... By using your parameters, I'm able to link um, the number of holes with the number of uh, socket heads that I've got in here, um, just like as a, well as as a parametric package should do. Thanks very much for watching.